We hope you enjoy this clip. Before you watch it, please hit that subscribe button. I wanted to talk about the final, the 2016 finals. Did you guys, um, you personally, was there at any point when you were down 3-1 that you had any doubt? No, because for me, like, and I was like, and this will have me so mad after we go down 3-1 because I felt like the year before, if we have Kyrie healthy, he goes out to Atlanta, Kev healthy, uh, gets his arm pulled out in, in um, the Celtics series, the first series. If we have that team with that, like the with the way we were flowing up at the at, at the finals, we win fifteen for sure. It's not like I don't think the Warriors get as much confidence and start going on runs like they do without that first chip because that's just that's just like oh we here like this is what like. You know, obviously they were having a good year as a team regardless. I mean, Steph was having his year. Clay was having his year for sure. No knock to them. But the way we were just meshing, it was just, it was perfect timing. And then you, I mean, you got, you got I love Delhi to death, but Delhi could, Delhi almost died guarding Steph Curry. <laughs> no, literally almost died. If you, if we, we have footage of this man in the ice tub, like literally to his neck trying to guard this man. He, you're not crazy. wrong, by the way. I actually, the, randomly on my Twitter feed the other day, a uh, Delavadova montage video <laughs> popped up from the 15 finals. And I was like, I'm going to watch this. I'm going to watch. I'm going to take the time to watch this. Man. Fuck, he tried. He tried. No, he, he, he battled his ass he, off. What? I like, competed. You, I love, just for watching, from watching that, Delavadova is by far one of my greatest people I, I, I like of all time. Like, he was, he literally gave everything he had and there was no excuse there wasn't there wasn't like oh he just had it going it was like no it's like oh i'm trying or no 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 no. it wasn't none of that he could barely talk after that's how hard he was trying like i that respect level for to me it goes through the roof are there any specific moments memories in 16 after you go down 3-1 in the locker room in the days after leading up to game five like are, is there anything that stands out about that time period, final buzzer, up to game five. Up to game five, I think James Jones and Mike Miller, like they really like, I feel like it was more their doing. They were like the fairy godparents of the team. Like they were more like pulling guys aside, like listen, like give, doing things that coaches wouldn't do. You know, like putting guys in check in certain, like, listen, bro, I need you here. It's not like certain coaches just feel like they can't talk to certain players or how you got to, how you have to talk to a certain player type. Like they, they, they already knew that, but they were more in a sense of like putting that fire up on you. They did it with Kev. They did it with Kai. Uh, they did it with, they did it to an extent with Bron because you really don't have to do too much with Bron because he sees the game as it is. Um, they definitely did it with me game seven at halftime. Um, they did it with Shump. It was like, it was literally like watching like two old guys come around and walk around the locker room and just pick our spirits up. And you literally seeing people's whole emotions change after conversations. It was just like, okay, he came in, barely spoke to anybody, head down, like just, and then we're ready to go shoot around. He just, yeah, let's go. Like, I'm sitting there like, Kai, I never see you switch like that. Like, you good? Is everything all right? What, what just happened? Shump, you all right? Like, what's... Okay, let's go. Uh, it's get, vets, man. It's vets. vets. You need vets. We hope you had fun with us today. We hope you laughed. We hope you had fun with us today. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button.